Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for tuning in today's video. I hope this video is finding you all safe and well. Today, I thought I would do sit down and do another one of my eyeing it or not buying it videos. As you know, these videos are inspired by Samantha March, her Will I Buy It series. It's where we basically go through all the upcoming and new releases in the beauty community and I'll let you know if I'm interested in purchasing them or if I'm just gonna pass on them. So I'll purchase the pass, will I buy it? And my version is the I in it or not buying it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Not only will I be referencing Trend Mode's beauty page, I'll get to that in a minute, but I did want to take a minute and go to Indie Makeup Spotlight here. I first learned about Indie, Indie Makeup Spotlight's Instagram page from two ladies that I watch here on YouTube. My girl just Peachy D, DJ, and Colorful Camelli KK. So DJ and KK, what's up y'all if y'all watching? But I learned about this Instagram page from them and they basically speak on the upcoming and new releases from the indie brand. So I recently saw that Juvia's Place released this Wahala palette. It's a 20 pan eyeshadow palette and it's really pretty, but you guys know recently I did the how many ever eyeshadow palettes that I did not use in my collection so I have no use for those but it did definitely catch my eye as well as this eyeshadow palette from Sample Beauty and I think this is a UK brand but these shades in this palette I see a whole bunch of mattes you know mattes are right up my alley but isn't this palette pretty y'all like look at those shades but I'm pretty sure I have shades just like it in my collection so I'm gonna keep it moving then there's these lipsticks from um Girl Boss Cosmetics. I've never heard of them as well, but these lipsticks look bombs. I haven't necessarily been into liquid lipsticks per se, but I have been getting back into bullet lipsticks. But these, I don't know, the way they're swatched and the way they look, for some reason these shades are just right up my alley, so those are pretty. Not necessarily gonna buy it, but I'm definitely eyeing it. Now I'm gonna shoot on over to Tremble's page, cause I know all the rave, oh she just posted something else. I'll get to that in a second. But right now, as of today, all of the rage is what Pat McGrath is releasing. So she's dropping the Divine Rose 2 palette. And this is what that palette looks like here. These rosy shades. It's not so rosy. I see a little bit of rose. Then I see a little bit of pink. I see some gold tones in here. It's a really, really pretty palette. But again, first of all, you will never find me in these streets buying a $125 palette. I don't need it. I don't need a freaking $15 palette. So this $125 palette, I'm definitely not purchasing, but it's very pretty to look at. I'll tell you that. And you know, you'll be seeing videos all up and down your timeline when this releases. She's also releasing in that collection a lip trio. So it's going to be $80. Lord have mercy. Okay, so this lip trio basically includes the lip liner the lipstick and then a gloss to go along with it now not for nothing that lipstick looks really pretty look at the lipstick swatch on the models very pretty i like that dusty mauve rose color but it kind of reminds me of a lipstick that i already have in my collection from pat mcgrath it gives me really quickly i just ran and got mine but it's giving me the vibe of one of these shades that i do like to wear maybe this one this one is Omi. It's giving me the Omi vibes. So look at that. That's Omi swatch there. And it, I'm pretty sure it's not the same color, but it's giving me that vibe. So I feel like I'm going to leave well enough alone. And even 1995, I like to wear that one as well. So it's giving me vibes. Like with Pat McGrath, I don't know, with Pat McGrath lip products, for me, it just feels like if you have a couple of shades then you have them all like i feel like the shades are so similar that i don't feel i would be missing out on anything so i'm gonna move along with that now i just seen that elf just released the cbd collection online so that's featuring a cbd moisturizer a cbd facial oil a cbd body cream and a cbd eye cream and if you wanted the full collection and not buy those items separately the whole collection will cost you $66 not necessarily anything I'm into right now if you saw well this face that I did today is all boxycharm items and as you know I recently subscribed to boxycharm earlier this year and I feel like I've been getting so many products especially skincare products 
in those boxes that I don't need to purchase any skincare anytime soon. If you're familiar with my channel, you've seen I just recently did hauls from Sephora and Ulta, so I don't necessarily need to be purchasing anything, but definitely not any skincare at the moment. So I'm gonna keep it moving with that. Same thing with mascaras. I don't know if you saw the Ulta haul, but I ended up picking up three mascaras from Ulta, like why? And then I just opened up a brand new mascara today because I was featuring what I've got in my boxy charm. So, Huda Beauty is coming out with a double-ended mascara. And from the pictures, it looks pretty cool. But you, um, I just can't get into Huda, Bre Huda Beauty's products. I don't purchase too much from Huda Beauty. I don't use too much of the products that I do own from Huda Beauty. So, I'm going to go ahead and keep it moving with that. Oh, we need to talk about Charlotte Tilbury, though, okay? So, Charlotte Tilbury released a new collection. And that collection, she's going to be dropping one of, another one of her quads for $53. I'm not buying no $53 eyeshadow quad. And she's dropping these bronzers. Now, you know, I live for a good bronzer. But I have so many in my collection right now. Like, last year, I went through this thing where I just had to try so many different formulas of bronzers. And I think I pretty much got a good handle on the bronzers that I like in my collection. I'm actually going to film my bronzer collection video and we'll do some swatches so I can show you the bronzers that are in my collection. But just like Charlotte Tilbury's packaging and everything, the way they display it, it just, it draws you in. So I am excited to see people start reviewing these and see if that dark bronzing powder, I want to see the tone of that, I want to see how it looks and you know, I am eyeing it that may end up in a future haul, nothing no time soon. But guys, this bronzer course freaking... $55. $55 for this bronzer. I'm not going to say never. I'm not going to say I'd never do it, but not right now. But the cool thing about this is also that they have bronzer refills. So you can have your compact, and then if you run out of the product, you can go ahead and buy a refill. I don't know if I'll run out of that bronzer anytime soon, but if it's such a soft powder, just like the airbrush flawless finish powder is, I can see how you can run through that bronzer pretty quick. So if it's given that same kind of formula that the powder is in, I may be sold. So that's going to be available on May 21st. Let me know if you're interested in that because I'm definitely eyeing that one. Then Beauty Bakery has these little Neapolitan bars and a brownie bar. And it's basically like a highlighter, blush, and bronzer kind of situation palette going on. Again, I don't need any more blushes. I don't need any more highlighters or bronzers or anything like that. So I'm going to keep it moving. But the packaging is cute. You know, caught my eye, but I'm not buying it. Now, I was interested in this Hemp's. Hemp's recently, as a matter of fact, yesterday when I went to work, I only go into work once a week. So my homegirl showed me the hand sanitizer that she got, and it was from Hemp's. And I was like, I didn't even know they make freaking hand sanitizer. So I get home, and that night is when I see trend will post about the hand sanitizer but then they're also releasing a whole new collection of summertime fragrances for their daily moisturizers and i do like their moisturizers i have used them i had a bottle in the past i haven't purchased anything recently but i'm intrigued by these these new scents of lotion that they're coming out with the body creams is 11 dollars and 20 cents the body moisturizer is 23 dollars so they're dropping some body cream, some body moisturizers, and of course, the sanitizer. So yeah, I am definitely eyeing that. I already mentioned the Jovius Place palette that just dropped. Let me know if any of you guys picked up the Jovius Place palette. It's like, Jovius Place came out of nowhere with that one. It was like, we didn't get no sneak peeks or anything. It was just like, oh, we dropped today. So I noticed a lot of companies are doing that lately. Things are just like available now and you didn't even know it was coming. You wasn't prepared. I like to get my coins prepared. So that's why I like to do these kind of videos. So it gives me an idea of like the money that I'm going to need <laughs> to make in order to spend the stuff that I want to buy. You know what I'm saying? What's this? So this is from a company I've never heard of, but it's through Beautylish and it's from the Sacred Rit Ritual and it's a watermelon sugar hydrate and body scrub. I do like body scrubs. I'm not a fan of, I'm not the biggest fan of watermelon front scents though. So I'm going to keep it moving with that. Lorac, Lorac is coming out with a summertime collection and it's called the Lux Diamond Golden Hour Collection. It has a highlighter palette with six pans. They have lip glosses and they have some eye gloss trios. 
the packaging is nice but again this is nothing that i'm checking for right now so i'm gonna keep it moving but the packaging is nice and the lip glosses i've heard good things about uh the rock lip glosses actually the only thing that i've actually used from the rock was their eyeshadow their eyeshadows remember when the la rock pro two one two three seventeen whatever how many they had i have no i had a couple of those i actually still have some in my collection there's some that i just can't let go that was the era and be the beauty community that i was happy to be a part of but i don't really check too much for the rock beauty products oh yeah and anastasia they recently just released a new collection they dropped the novena palette four um I see a lot of pink, I see a lot of purple, and I see a lot of things that just have been already done. I don't know why they felt like they needed to drop another palette, but they did. It's there for you guys. That's going to be $60. And then they're also coming out with some cake liners. So these are called the Electric Cake Liners. They're $30, and you get three in each set. So you can get a colorful set, or you can get the set with the white. But again nothing that i'm checking for i think this that would be a cool collection for people that's into doing that kind of makeup like instagram makeup that's the kind of it seems like that's the direction that novena is going in like it's like that instagram beauty and that's just not me i usually do like a very monotone very i don't want to say basic but more neutral and I'm all about that base. Like, as far as the other stuff, yeah, it's fun, but I'm not gonna do that on an everyday base. Now, L'Oreal will be dropping a tinted water cream, Healthy Glow from L'Oreal Skin Paradise. It's said to have 24 hour moisture, SPF of 20, and it says the formula includes water, extracts from aloe vera and ginger, as well as witch hazel water. Um, I'm not sure. So, is this supposed to be like a primer? It says it's a tinted water cream, perfecting healthy glow. So I'm guessing it's just like a glow product. I actually used a new glow oil from Wanda Beauty today. Um, I have plenty of primers. I have plenty of illuminating products. So this is, again, is nothing that I need to be purchasing. So MAC Cosmetic recently released, um, oh, I think I spoke about this collection and my last I ended up buy, not buying it. Um, the packaging again is really nice. Everything looks nice and bronzed and beautiful. Nothing that I need right now. The lipsticks that they're dropping are all like reddish and nothing that I'm checking for. That one neutral shade, it looks alright, but I don't know if y'all can see. I got a whole freaking carousel of MAC lipsticks back there that I don't even use. So I wouldn't even play myself and try to get anything. And then those bronzes don't look like they're bronzing anybody. The brush is intriguing, but mm, nothing that I need right now. Oh, I was intrigued by this, though. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Hydrating Moisturizer with an SPF of 45. Now, you know I live for a good moisturizing SPF, something that can do two jobs in one. I'm here for it. Peter Thomas Roth is a brand that I use a lot of their masks, so that definitely did catch my eye. I don't need... If you saw my Sephora haul, you already know how much sunscreen I have in my possession right now. So I'm, I think I'm good with that. Now, y'all know I love my Sephora favorite sets. This is from the Sephora collection. And it is called Holy Sheet. <laughs> I love it. So this is a collection. It's $48. And it comes with quite a bit of face mask. So you got nose mask, face mask, eye mask. You got a hand scrub, hand balm clay mask, charcoal mask, like any kind of mask that you could think for your body, for your face, Sephora got you covered. So I think that's a pretty cool set. That's called Holy Sheet, and I'm eyeing that one. That one looks pretty cool. Essie collections always interest me, but these pastel shades, I'm not a fan of pastel nail polishes. I told y'all I was going to stop coming out here with busted nails, but I do have an excuse. I have to wash Chloe's hair, so that's the only reason why I didn't put them nails on. <laughs> Kylie Skin, they're coming out with a new lip product. It's a lip scrub. I don't need any lip scrubs. Guys, you can get some um, brown sugar, Vaseline, mix it together. There's your lip scrub. Don't save your money. <laughs> NARS. NARS and this little ass eyeshadow palette that they're coming out with. It's $52. Are they crazy? 
Like the shades are pretty, but ain't that damn pretty? But um, I haven't had NARS eyeshadows in a good minute. I do have some NARS eyeshadows in my collection. I never reach for them, so I, why would I spend fifty two dollars on something that I'm not gonna reach for? Charm Lights Lacquer, you know Kathleen Light. She has her um, nail polish collection. These colors actually intrigue me. Um, the shade Lila, Emma, and Aliana. Those three shades, I love me a good nude nail polish. See, you go from the pastel, I was like blah, blah, blah. But when it comes to these nudes, I do like that. So for $9.50 each, I think that's a pretty reasonable price. I personally haven't tried anything from Lights Lager, but that definitely intrigued me. I see a concealer. This is from Kim Chi Chi Beauty. This company has came out of nowhere, but I do like their consistency with releasing products because I think I talked about them last time as well. So now they're coming out with a concealer. Now these concealer swatches, these shades are not it. So I don't even want to read more about it. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. Oh, Makeup Revolution. Okay, so Makeup Revolution, they just released a collection. It's called the Glow Collection. And guys, I seen KK, the same girl. She's such an enabler, but I seen her do swatches of these bronzers, y'all. Not only KK, I saw Angela Denise. She had the last, if I'm not mistaken, she has the last four shades of the bronzers and they all look good y'all yeah? like makeup revolution came through with those bronzers again i don't need another bronzer but that was tempting i was this close to ordering them damn bronzers but it's a whole collection not only do they have six shades six shades of the bronzer they have a body glow they have a bean dream iridescent primer and they also have the body blending brush so that's a whole glowing collection that had make a revolution like i i think that's a good look i was also intrigued by this this is the milani green goddess makeup melter now i love me a good kind of balm that's gonna just break down all the makeup that i have on my face before i actually go into wash my face so this one definitely intrigued me $13.99. Now one thing about Milani, like Milani and Physicians Formula, they're drugstore, but their prices aren't like so affordable. But I think $13.99 is pretty reasonable. So I'm definitely intrigued by that. If I see it like I'm ready to something, I'll pick it up. Unless one of these days they op open up Ulta. I'm not pressed. I'm not rushing. Don't open it up. I'm in New York, so no rush, guys. No rush. <laughs> if you're an avid watcher here on YouTube, you may know that Wing Goss recently released his collection through beauty lish he came out with a whole bunch of lip liners some lipsticks and some lip glosses unfortunately all these even though i do love my neutrals and nudes these just don't look like the kind of shades that i personally would buy but i love me some wayne gauze and i'm so happy for him this is by fasali and this is called their quench moisture replenishing serum you know I'm all about that hydration and replenishing it sounds delicious so this is only $24 what wait hold up this is only $24 I think I want that it may be a small bottle it says it's a one fluid ounce okay so the bottle's not so big but I mean I would try it for $24 okay that's something that I'm eyeing this new highlighter from Becca um it's available now this is um they just recently released a new Shimmer and Skin Perfect. It's been a minute since they released one. And this one actually looks promising. It's giving me like that peachy gold vibe. And I do like peach tone highlighters on my skin tone. So this one is actually intriguing. It's been forever since I purchased the Becca highlighter. I think I just fell out of love with them. I felt like they was doing the same thing over and over and over. And I just had so many highlighters in my collection where I felt like I really didn't need it. But that one is actually intriguing to me. And the last item that I want to talk about is this new release. Well, did it come out yet? I don't even think it came out yet. But Fresh, they're dropping their Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. Now, y'all know my love for Fresh Beauty. I love Fresh Beauty. I love the hydrator, the moisturizer. I love the toner. I'm really a big fan, especially of their Rose line. So when I seen this lip balm, like I've been in love with lip balms, trying new lip balms lately. So this one looks really interesting. So I'm definitely eyeing that. So yeah guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I think I've been talking long enough. 
Let me know if any of the products that I have mentioned in today's video, if you're eyeing them or if you're not buying them. I know with all these sales that just recently passed by, nobody needs to be buying anything right now. So if you're like me, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps me a great deal and lets everybody know that they should be watching this video as well. While you're down there, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and join the K Squad. We would love to have you here. And until next time, babies, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Lady out.